Good morning, looking at the US markets. Well, a mixed bag yet again in the US. And really, when we looked at the outcomes of the summit in Singapore over the last few days between North Korea and the US, there really wasn't that much information to come out of it. So the markets basically pushed it to one side and focused on what was important to investors, and that is the outcome of the Federal Reserve, which will be handed down at this time tomorrow, and also what's happening in those commodity markets with expectations that we could see OPEC lifting their output in the second part of the calendar 2018 year. So if we have a look at the close, we did see the Dow down for the fifth straight trading session, down by only two points, S&P 500 up by five points and the Nasdaq up by 44 points. And when you look at the breakdown in the market, you can see that there was weakness yet again in the banks. And even though we saw this little bit of a move coming through in the oil price, we did see the energy sector a little bit weaker. But when you're having a look at the gains that were coming through in the technology stocks, a lot of good news coming through for the tech stocks in the last few weeks. We have seen resilience coming back into those FANG stocks. We saw Twitter shares moving higher, more broker upgrades. They have been included in the S&P 500 only for the last few days, so a lot of positioning going on there. And we also had Tesla seeing their share price up by 3.2%, but this was on the news. An early release of what was going to be a statement that came through from Tesla had been released to the media, and it basically showed that they are looking at changing their business model. They're also looking at cutting around 9% of their global staff as they're trying to move the business forward. And we saw the share price moving higher on that news. In the market, so there was a little bit of nervousness coming into the media sector, and that's because we're waiting on the announcement as to whether AT&T and Time Warner, that ongoing, offgoing merger, will go ahead. There is going to be a, a decision handed down by the district judge later this morning over this takeover. And so we did see that by the end of trade that AT&T was up by around half a percent, Time Warner only slightly higher. Apart from that, looking at the commodity markets, a little bit of a rise coming through in that oil price on the OPEC news that was released over the last 24 hours. So the oil price at 66.23 US a barrel. The gold price slightly weaker as the US dollar continued to rally higher. Now off around $3 an ounce to 1,299 US an ounce. On the economic front, we had the inflation numbers being released in the States, not really moving the market because they were in line with expectations, but still showing there is new pricing pressure coming in in the US. Core inflation at 2.2%, overall inflation at 2.8% as well. And we also had the budget numbers coming through once again. The monthly budget numbers showing the deficit has continued to blow out in the last month, year on year, up by 66%. With that budget over the last month at $146.8 billion US dollars. Lastly, look the Aussie market was set for around a six-point slide at the start of trade with the Aussie dollar holding around 75.74 US cents.